For our project, we set out to measure and get an idea of vibrational modes in a bike fork, based on how straight the wheel is. With this, we could tell just how much an out-of-true wheel may affect the feel of a ride or even the fatigue in the fork material. For our setup, we had a wobbly, unbalanced wheel, and one that was near perfectly true and balanced. We put these in a fork that was mounted with a load cell on the stanchions and an accelerometer on the lowers. Both these were powered by an Arduino, which would take samples when a button was depressed. First, we performed a control, where the wheel wasn't moving, so that we could get an idea about noise. Then, we spun the straight wheel, depressed the button, and let it take samples. Then we switched to the wobbly wheel and did the same. We gave it a spin, depressed the button, and let the Arduino take measurements. Here's the data that was obtained. Me and my partner used the same setup, so the data was pretty much identical. Interestingly, even though the vibrations were nearly invisible to the naked eye, with the load cell we could tell an obvious difference between the true and wobbly wheels. The true wheel produced small amplitude vibrations, while the wobbly produced larger magnitude centered around a greater force. The accelerometer data was harder to interpret, but after performing FFT analysis, we found frequencies that were unique to that experiment, and found that the lower frequency of 23 hertz was twice as strong for the wobbly wheel as it was for the true wheel. The control, as expected, produced random noise. Uncertainty was fairly minimal, with 1.95% total uncertainty from the accelerometer data and 1.94% uncertainty for the load cell data, calculated as shown. All in all, the project was a success. We were able to use the Arduino to detect vibrations otherwise impossible to measure, and this achieved our goal of getting an idea of vibrations present in the fork during use.